now you can see here the major component of thermal power plant in which we are start from the coal handling plant and pulverizing plant so here you can see this is the coal handling and pulverizing plant in which the coal is stored and then after it is converted into small particle and then after the small the impurities some impurities are available which is which is uh, removed inside this handling plant then after it is comes to the mill or we can say uh, it is pulverized and converted into very small particle so here this is the in coal handling plant we simply says that the coal is converted into powder form why the requirement of con convert this coal into powder form so here if we convert this coal into powder form then after uh, the coal is comes to the boiler where combustion is take place so when it is converted into very small particle then we can say the combustion process is become very fast or rapid and the combustion of the coal is become efficient that's why here the um, coal pulverization is required then after we simply says that draft or draft fin so here the draft system is used in boiler because when the combustion after the combustion the flue gases are produces so now we require this flue gases is to um, to uh, to went to the uh, chimney and atmosphere so here some um, draft means here to create a uh, some pressure difference so due to this pressure difference this flue gases is go to the chimney and finally to the atmosphere so somewhere it is a natural draft is created but in the case where the high amount of the flue gases are produces at that time at that time but some somewhere where is not possible to create the natural draft at that time some artificial draft is produced with the help of fan so here the draft fan is required to produce the artificial draft then after boiler we know inside the boiler with the help of the coal the um, steam water is converted into steam and the final product of the boiler is uh, steam now ash handling plant we know after the combustion of the coal inside the boiler the ash is generated this ash is comes to the handling plant and finally go to the uh, storage so this is the function of the ash handling plant to store and keep in the uh, ash handling plant now turbine and generator so here the steam which are come with the high temperature and pressure it is expand into the turbine so what is the uh, function of the turbine so function of the turbine is when the steam is expand at that time it's produce an a mechanical work so here what is the construction of the turbine so we are not bother about the um, very very uh, constructive type but here we can say the blades are mounted on the shaft when the steam is strike on the blades the blades are rotated ultimately the shaft is rotated and this shaft is connected with the generator so here the electricity is produced now due to the expansion of the steam the steam temperature and pressure become very low and it is exhaust from the turbine so now the second part is condenser so here this exhaust steam from the turbine is come to the condenser where it is condensed or we can say the steam is converted into water with the help of some external cooling water so main the function of the condenser is to change the phase of the steam at constant pressure or we simply says that here the latent heat of the steam is removed and the steam is converted into water with the help of some cooling water so somewhere there is a um, pond river or canals are there at that time they are uh, there uh, we are use the direct water from the river at canal then it is clean it and then after it is passes through the condenser where where this cooling water is abstract some heat from the water then it is passes through the uh, condenser and and come to the finally to the river other ends so we can use the directly from the river or canal or ponds but at the um, some cases where uh, the plant is does not located on the river or canal at that time the this cooling circulating water is required continuously so here the water is come inside the condenser at high temperature 
it is then come out so its temperature is raised so now if you want to use this water again and again then we need to cool it so here the cooling tower is there where the cooling tower is to reduce this circulating water temperature with the help of the atmospheric air so there is a we can see uh, the types of cooling tower and all these things uh, later on but here the work of the cooling tower is to reduce the temperature of the circulating water and then after we can say the feed water heater so here there is a two two feed water heater one is a lp heater a low pressure heater and second one is a hp heater for high pressure heater here the function of lp and hp heater is to increase the temperature of feed water with the help of the steam which are extracted from the different level of the turbine so here lp heater and hp heater increase the temperature of feed water with the help of steam then this feed water is comes to the economizer so here what is the function of the economizer so economizer is increase the further increase the temperature of this feed water with the help of the flue gases which are come outside from the boiler so here the flue with the help of the flue gases the feed water temperature is increased in the economizer and the superheater so superheater we know the steam which are produced inside the boiler it's come to the superheater where its temperature is raised again and again and it's converted into superheated form with the help of the flue gases and after air preheater so the atmospheric air which are used for the combustion process inside the boiler its temperature is raised with the help of the flue gases which are used inside the uh, economizer and passes through the air preheater where its temperature is raised with the help of the flue gases so air atmospheric air which are come outside its temperature is raised with the help of the flue gases and finally come to the boiler and take um, part in the combustion process so air preheater is increase the temperature of air and finally the flue gases is come to the chimney and atmosphere now alternator and exciter here this uh, generator or alternator with exciter is used so here the turbine is produced and mechanical work it is connected with the alternator or generator which rotate the shaft and finally we get an electricity so this is the major component of the um, thermal power plant which is very easy to understood and we can see um, the uh, all about the different component in brief in our uh, next lecture